Oh, good session today, boys. Good session. Let's do it again tomorrow. Priority, six o'clock. Oh, my, my phone. Hello. Who's this? John Porter. Who? Slough. Isn't that where they filmed the office? Oh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hello, welcome back guys. Um, interesting, interesting couple of weeks, both in real life and uh, and in game. Um, so first up, I've been having a little work done on the house, which is why I've not been uploading properly. And I'm hoping to get back into the schedule um, now. So yeah, um, here, is our roadmap, our, our map to glory and beyond. Um, we're right down here, uh, and as you can see, we've we've played eleven games and we've got twenty-seven points, putting us top of the table. Um, we've done relatively well, I guess. Uh, Moncrief is the second top goal scorer. Uh, we've got. Liam McDavid, who is our top in terms of assists, in terms of the entire league. Um, Ed has the most clean sheets. Fantastic. And things are going relatively well here at uh, Bury AFC. So well, in fact, that I just had a phone call from John Porter, um, as you may have seen in the intro. John Porter manages Slough Town. Slough Town are the Fanorama National League South team that aren't doing well at all. Um, last season they got relegated from the National League, now they're in the South. They're not having a good time, hence why they're looking for a new manager. And they've decided I'm an acceptable fit. I didn't apply for this. I didn't ask this, um, but they rung me up and just said, do you want to come to an interview? To which I say, no, I am very happy here in Bury. I don't want to move to Slough. So yeah, you, you guys were last here for the opening game of the season and the transfer special and the start of season two, something magical. Um, I had planned for the last episode to come back for the South Liverpool game uh, due to a recording issue. That didn't happen unless you wanted a video with awful sound. Um, nobody wants that. So I canned it and decided to come back for today against South Liverpool again, <laughs> this time in the FAA's first round. Um, but yeah, we, we've had a relatively good start to the season. Uh, the first couple of games were marred with a couple of draws, um, but we, we've kind of picked up a bit of form since then. We did play at AFC Blackpool, um, we drew, and yeah, we, we've done relatively well. Um, our last game against Main Road, uh, we actually played a somewhat rotated squad. Uh, I thought I'd give our our team a little bit of a shake up. We played Liam Isherwood in goal, who did relatively well um, up until I think Hunt gave away a penalty whilst he was on a yellow card, and it was nerve wracking waiting for him to get sent off. And he didn't, so we're good. Um, so yeah, today's episode, South Liverpool, FAV's first round, hoping we can get through and win it this time and not have any dramatic exits along the way. 
Uh, so let's get into it. So here's how we're going to play today. Uh, we're going to have Ed back in goal. As much fun as it was having Isherwood in there. I don't know if I can trust him just yet. Um, we got Jepson King on left wing back roll and Whitehead and Hunt in the middle with a strong partnership now, so that's good. Valentine on the right wing back who has a relatively good partnership with Liam McDavid who's the inside forward on the right. Uh, Taylor is now playing as the deep line playmaker, going to mix up that midfield trio a little bit. Um, Arthur as Carrillo and Healy as a fast playmaker. Chippendale on the left inside forward and Moncrief as the poacher. So that's how we're lining up for a couple of changes from the last game. Uh, Gilboy, who is one of the older players, trying to wean him out, I guess, a little bit. Um, I, I probably should pay more attention when I'm doing these, um, whatever they're called, team talks. Uh, in the future, but yeah, it, it, we're doing relatively well in terms of possession. In the last match, we had something like seven sixty-five percent of the possession throughout the entire game, um, and the XG kind of let us down a little bit. Um, we obviously conceded that penalty. We won two one, but I I was hoping that it would have been a nice clean sheet two nil, um, and it should have been if Hunt hadn't given away that penalty. Um, but yeah, we are 25 minutes into this game. We've had, well, there's our first goal. Um, that was our first shot on target, I think, maybe second. But that was our first shot on target. Um, and it was a pretty good, I mean, it was a right, I guess. Nice little ball there from Jepson. King, um, he's, he's been doing really well on that left wing back row recently, so I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. Um, Valentine, still not doing so well, but we're keeping him there. Um, why am, what is kind of worrying is that our goals have been relatively scrappy recently. Up until McDavid then just jumped in and joined the bandwagon of scoring goals. Um, yeah. We haven't looked amazing up front recently, but we're getting the goals, and that's what matters. Um, and if we continue having goals like that, I'm not going to complain. Just fingers crossed we can carry that through the entire season. Uh, another highlight. Are we going to make it 3-0 before halftime? That would be nice. That would really kind of make the halftime talk nice and easy. Just keep doing what you're doing. Obviously, we have to we have to get there first. Um, and there's Jepson King, who just probably not one of his better uh, balls up the pitch. To be fair, he, he normally does quite nice ones, and they're well directed, and they land at the feet of whoever he's going to. Anyway, Frampton clears the ball, um, intercepted by us. McDavid loses it immediately. Hunt wins it back. Some nice head play here. Some very nice head play. Heading, head play. Anyway, that was a really good through ball, but can he do anything with it? Chippendale with the goal, second goal of the season. That was quite a nice, it's quite a nice goal to be fair from Chippendale, but I was expecting a little bit better from that through ball there. Moncrief, it was to his left foot to be fair, and maybe actually pretty poor goalkeeping uh, from Frampton. But again, not going to play. 3 0, and not even half time. This is a cakewalk so far. Oh, and we may have a chance to make it 4 0 before half time. And we do. Cameron Healy right in there, behind the keeper. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That was a very good kind of. That was a very good free kick there from Trippendale. And again, perhaps Frampton could have done better, but he's not my keeper. I don't care. Happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. So I'm expecting now a quiet second half. Um, 
um, we're, do, we're doing relatively well. I, if we play on this the entire season, there is no reason for us not to go up as champions of the league. Oof, no, David, that was that was so close. Anyway, with the corner now, McDavid into Taylor, who just knocks it over the crossbar. So, out for a goal kick. And, I mean, look at this possession stats. 58% possession, 13 shots, 8 on target. Um, it is about time to make some subs. Arthur is tired. Let's bring him on Gilboy. Mm. Um, Hunt is tired. Let's bring on Drury. Uh, everybody else is relatively okay. Uh, I mean, Taylor's performance, Karen Taylor, I guess he's just playing in the wrong position. Um, are we about to lose our clean sheet? That looked like it went behind the line. I'm not going to lie. But keep our clean sheet. It is full time, 4 0. And that sees us through to the second round of the FA base. Let's just hope we do not come up against Hebron. If anyone ever mentions Hebron in any of the comments, I will just... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Um, so yeah, that, that sees us through the first round. We win £1,000, we win another £1,500. Um, and who are we going to play? Uh, the, the second round has been drawn, so we do know who we will be playing against in terms of one of the two teams. But who who is it going to be? Are we going to find out? We are not going to find out. So it turns out we're playing either Wickham or... Saw Bridgeworth. What kind of name is that? Saw Bridgeworth Town. Could you imagine? Anyway, um, so they drew their first uh, their first tie, so they have to go into a replay. So we will find out on the fourteenth of October. So in four days' time. Um, so what we might do. Yeah, so for next episode, we are going to come back for Berskoff and the FA Bay's second round game. Um, so hopefully you haven't stopped watching. And uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell me you hate the video, whatever. It's all good for the YouTube algorithm. It's good for the YouTube algorithm, that's what I was trying to say. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.